everyone, I am Dr. Sunil Havanavar, Senior Consultant, Internal Medicine, Columbia Asia Hospital, Sajapur. As we know, the whole world is fighting, fight against a corona pandemic. As a healthcare worker, today I have here to help you to clear a few of your doubts. As we know, the coronavirus can cause a respiratory infection which can be mild to very severe. But at the same time, 70 to 80 percent of the cases are mild cases and most of them might not need even admission. So these will appear just like any cough cold. You will have cough, fever, sometimes throat pain or mild body pain and headache. For these patients, uh, simple paracetamol, adequate hydration is more than enough. If you are an adult, sometimes you might need cough syrup. If you are continuing to have high degree fever or if you start developing breathing difficulty, then you might need admission. In development of these symptoms, you have to contact your healthcare worker. As we know that most of us will have elderly population at home. Elderly populations are at more risk compared to the other population for the complications of the coronavirus. So elderly populations are those who are aged more than 60 years of age. Not only these people, all the everybody with the, who are suffering with diabetes, hypertension or any chronic liver disease, chronic kidney disease, especially those are on dialysis and those people who are taking chemotherapy for any form of cancer are more vulnerable for the complications than other people. So if we have this population around at your home or in the surroundings, if these people develop even the mild symptoms, then it's, it's very important to take them to the healthcare worker for an assessment. As we know that uh, mild cases are about 70 to 80 percent of the patients, so we need not to panic about them and the recovery rate is more compared to the mortality. As of now, the mortality is less than 4% in India. Nowadays, as we are entering the later stages of the corona pandemic, we are seeing that the lockdown has been eased out. But as a responsible citizen, it, we should be prepared for this phase as well. Uh, easing of the lockdown doesn't mean that we are getting back to the normal life. At this point also, the social distancing and self-care is very very important. Most of you may be employer and you may be having people working for you. It's your responsibility that create a proper environment at the place where the people are coming to work for you. You have to arrange the place in such a way that social distancing is maintained. You have to arrange in such a way that people have adequate supply of sanitizer, soap, water and tissues. Make sure that the social distancing is maintained especially during the gatherings or the meetings. If possible, avoid unnecessary social gathering and meetings. If you are an employee at the workplace, it is important to not to unnecessarily meet people or uh, attend unnecessary gatherings. Make a social distancing, wash your hands properly and regularly and make sure that you don't touch your face, nose, eyes unnecessarily. Coming to the last point that what will you do in the future? Make sure that till we get the enough control of this coronavirus, we all follow the social distancing. We will take care of our elderly population at home and not to panic about the coronavirus at all. If you have any doubts, we are here to help you. You can contact us anytime. Especially in the children and the adult population, if you have any doubts, you can contact us anytime. Thank you.